Welcome to Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Qualifying underway for the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series presented by Mr. Ghostman. Throwback night at Darlington, so you see quite a few different paint schemes than we're used to tonight. Ethan Evers and his Dale Jr. throwback. First car out onto the track for qualifying, so we'll watch him set our benchmark time and go from there. See the yellow front splitter, the yellow nameplate, and the yellow spoiler. That's how we're indicating our playoff drivers. It's down the back stretch, heading down into the tight turns three and four. It's drifting up towards the wall. If you tag that wall, you're going to lose your qualifying time, so he's got to stay out of it. Here he comes to the stripe. It'll be the first time on the board, a 30.21. That'll be the benchmark for everyone to shoot for. We'll wait for the times to start piling in. Lucas Hoisman, the tide ride. He'll jump up to the top spot. Travis Martin goes to third. Can't wait for you guys to see Travis's car. Got the Hot Wheels machine, but all Mr. Ghost banned out. <laughs> Very cool paint. Travis Skirmetta, the Folgers car. Jeremy Scherer, the Folgers car. Ian Montrose, John Deere paint scheme there. He's got the yellow spoiler front splitter and the nameplate in the playoffs. Mike Edwards, I made him a version with them, but then didn't send it to him, so that's my fault. He should have those yellow banners. So he's up into the fence and into the wall. Shrek car. <laughs> Getting banged up a little bit. Hoitzma's second lap a little quicker. He gets into the 29s. 29.97 for Hoitzma. Wes Parker's first lap with 30.28. He's got a Denny Hamlin throwback, and I am a fan. Obviously, it's the ex-wife car. She's seen all over trading paints. But the base scheme is nice. <laughs> Wesley goes to the top of the board in that Denny Hamlin Toyota. Mike Chris now out on track. He's throwing it back to himself early in the Security Pro season. Back when he picked up the championship, running a 22 car. Goes 8th quick on his first lap. <laughs> Autumn not happy with Wes Parker's pick due to, uh, I don't know, what is it, Autumn? The paint or the ex-wife thing? <laughs> Hayden jumps up to third on his second lap. Mike Chris goes six on his second lap. There's Hayden in the Mark Martin throwback briefly before he disappears. Matt Benke, he's got a Stephen Light City Financial throwback. About a minute left here in qualifying. Blake Giglio on his second lap. Blake must have bounced the wall on the first one. It didn't count. Here comes Blake. 16 Mustang. Yeah, he's got a little right rear damage. 30.17 on lap two. That'll put him fifth quick. Cliff Mullins out on track. He may get one lap in and start 14th, I think. <laughs> Autumn apparently not a, a Denny Hamlin fan. <laughs> What's wrong with Denny? Uh, as someone who's from the same county as Denny Hamlin, I'm well aware of the shortfalls of Denny Hamlin. <laughs> Not saying he's a bad guy, but I actually like him. He's just kind of... He's got some things that I, I don't like very much. But that's true with most people. So Cliff not going to get a lap in. He will be one of our non-qualifiers. We have 21 cars here tonight. 13 put an official time down. The other 8 will start out back. We go to the 125 lap race. 
let our field form up here a bit, and we'll go check. Okay, chat guys, with West Park. welcome to Darlington. Uh, we're gonna have a good race here tonight. We got five total sets in the pits. Uh, we got 125 laps. Uh, half is gonna be at the end of lap 63. Ha. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, <his> as number. <laughs> always, uh, the start is going to be on green. All restarts thereafter will be on the leader, and the leader has lane choice. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but you guys know the deal. You're all pros. Um, be nice, have fun, and remember this track is a too tough to tame. Hey, 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 have fun. <laughs> Chavi Chav, having a little fun there. Let's go chat. Chav, what lap is the stage? Just said 63. Pay attention. Into the 63. God. Couldn't have planned that better if I tried. Freaking Hayden. That's nice. Hayden needs to pay the attention. If the race was 126 laps, you, you, you could have planned it better. That's a good point. That's a very good yeah, point. You know, half is 62 and a half, and then you round up. It works. <laughs> oh, it's funny because 63 is also your number. <laughs> This guy gets it. Explaining the joke. That guy. <laughs> wow. Alright. It's going to be that kind of night. We got Wes Parker starting on the pole in the 22 Toyota. Denny Hamlin throwback. Lucas Hoist by the Ricky Craven Tide throwback starts in the second spot. Hayden Lowell Viagra Mark Martin throwback starts in third. Travis Martin Hot Wheels Kyle Petty throwback starts in fourth. Then you have the 16 Blake Giglio. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what that's throwing back to, but it looks cool. He's starting in the fifth spot. Ethan Evers, the Dale Jr. last ride throwback, starts in the sixth spot. Tra Mike Christopher starts seventh in his own throwback, throwing back to his first season in the Security Pro uh, Xfinity Series back then. Now is the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. Dustin Franklin, not throwing it back at all. He just went with a flat paint scheme. No, no gloss tonight. Dustin Franklin in a matte finish tonight. Rolling Elf in eighth. Travis Cremetta, the Mark Martin Folgers car. He'll start in ninth, one of two Folgers cars in the field. Ian Montrose, John Deere, Ford Mustang starts in 10th. Matt Benke, City Financial, Stephen Light throwback in 11th. Jeremy Scherer looks like he is not gridded up one track. He will start in 13th in another Folgers car. Mike Edwards, Tony Stewart, Shrek 2 Home Depot throwback car. He'll start in the 13th spot. Dalton Hayes, the uh, Terry Labonte, Kellogg's throwback starts in 14th. Looks like the 66 Madigan hasn't gridded up. He would be starting 15th if he did. Harry Grindel, a Renault throwback. He'll start here in 16th. Andrew Beach, Dale Jr. Mountain Dew Diet Dew machine starts in 17th. Jeff Price, back channel productions, Camaro 18th. Cliff Mullins in the Kevin Grubb throwback. Got the big Virginia flag there on the above the B post. Gotta love that. Trent Sneed, he's in a Chase Elliott throwback from Chase's first season, rookie season. And then Dave Hoitzma in a Sunoco throwback. That is your 21 car starting grid. 125 laps, halfway points into lap 63. Playoffs opening round. We are getting set. Here we go. Oh, green flag out in the air. Wes Parker, Lucas Hoitzma charging down to turn one. A couple Toyotas on the front row. Parker not getting clear, then that back end steps out. Hoitzma also gets loose. Our two leaders both getting loose there. Now Hayden in third. He's going to tag the outside wall. Come back across the track right in front of Ethan Evers. Puts him hard in the inside wall as Hayden Lowell destroys his car on lap one. Takes out Ethan Evers with him. Looks like everyone else able to avoid contact. Joe Madigan, who started from the pits, now looks like a genius. Teammate to that 67 car. As Hayden Lowell puts it in the fence. Hold it. Jeremy Scherer also rolling off late Sorry, there. Sorry, I couldn't see him as we were going back. That was Ian Montrose. He may have had some contact. Yeah, his front end's banged up. Let's see how Ethan gets into things. He might get in the back of the 88 there. The 88 checks up. Yeah, Montrose gets in the back of him. Hayden. We saw the first two cars both get loose. There's Hoitzman getting loose after the 22 Parker did. Hayden's on the outside. He gets loose coming off of two. He smacks the outside fence. Barely misses Travis Martin. Takes out Ethan Evers. 
Uh, I got a passing under yellow. I don't know who I passed. I thought I was close to the back. Let's find out. Thanks, Dad. Looks like he passes Mike Edwards, the 14 car on the way in. We are quickly under our first caution. Cliff just won a TV tie. <laughs> Hoyts, my Parker, Martin, your top three. Giglio, Mike Christopher, Dustin Franklin, Dalton Hayes, Travis Scrimetta, Jeff Price, and Mike Edwards, your top ten. It's like several cars may be coming to top the fuel tanks off. Jeff Price leading them down. We get one faster pair, so we won't see too many drivers taking that if they don't have to. Aerodynamics are important here at Darlington. It's a mile point two. Hey, Wesley. Hello. How'd you do in the late models last night? Somehow tweaked a little setup. Got third and heat two. Made feature. Didn't even make it out of turn two. Yeah, I killed like the half the field last night, so I, I do give your thing. Pro driver might have. Well, the guy in front of me hit like a little gap at the start finish line. So I tried to like move over to avoid it. Well, somebody slammed me, and uh, I went flying in the air going into the turn, and it, just, it destroyed me. Yeah, me and this dude were getting into it on the straightaway, and I mean, you know, they, they don't turn. So I hit him, and he went over the fence, and then I got, he told me to take coaching lessons, so I was wondering if he knew where he could get some. <laughs> um, it was fun, though. I mean, uh, it's split. Yeah, it was fun. Take a stop. We always knew you did. I was literally second from bottom split in that Q series. It's kind of funny. But it was just for fun, that's all. Yeah, at this point, I'm probably, I'm like 91st. I'm probably going to make it, but I'm tired to run it. I'll stick this right first. <laughs> I don't know, my, my uh, love has changed from dark light models to sprint cars. Like, I, just, I don't know, I love doing light models now. He drives so differently, though. I don't know if you guys have had that issue. <laughs> if you can drive a sprint car, it's going to take a world of different to drive that late model on the dirt. If you're getting set for the restart after that lap one caution, Hayden Lull in the 67 and 26 Ethan Evers getting damaged. Green flag back oh, in the air. Blake Giglio passing the 22 of West Parker on that outside. Hopefully he'll get his black clear for that. Top three goes single file. I took the outside, so I think that's why I gave him the black. Correct. Mike Chris in fifth. Dustin Franklin sixth. Oh, do you have a black right now? Seven. Yes, he does. I do, yeah. He in he eighth after that wreck. Scrimetta ninth. Mike Edwards tenth. Kind of, he said. Montrose eleven. Ethan Evers twelfth. Harry Grindel thirteenth. Jeff Price blinking in fourteenth. <laughs> And shoot Beach 15th, Trenton Seed 16th, those three teammates, along with Harry Grindel, so 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, they're all a chance to extreme cars. Running all five cars nose to tail. 
Matt Benke under attack from the 66 of Joe Madigan. Welcome back, Mr. Madigan. Been a while since we've seen him in the series. Dave Hoist went behind. Madigan trying to set up Benke for the pass here. He'll get to the inside as they head down to turn three. And there we are. Down below that white line trying to get the car to rotate. Benke keeps up the throttle on the high line. Be interesting to see if he can do it on corner exit though. Nope, he gets the wall. And that'll give the spot to Madigan. Dave Hoisman may get a spot as well. And that is how Darlington is too tough to tame. Jerry Scherer, by coming into the race late, lost a lap. Didn't hit anything. He was just late to start the race. So there he is, 21st position out on track. Hoisma, half second lead over Blake Giglio. Here's the 22, Wes Parker in third. Parker's got some right side damage. He's been in the wall. Not uncommon for Darlington, but early in the race, a little surprising to be pushing that hard when you're in the top three. Travis Martin, beautiful Hot Wheels scheme. Didn't go well when the 26 ran that scheme, I believe last year in the Xfinity series at Darlington. Hopefully he fares better. Mike Chris, that rear end damage coming from the one car. That first lap one accident. Finds himself in fifth. Dustin Franklin sixth. There is Dalton Hayes looking to the inside. Hayden Lowell behind, going to get a good run on Hayes here. Hayden going to get to the inside for turn one. Up the track he goes. Not able to get inside Dalton. See if he can set him up with corner exit of two. I think he had to compromise his entry a little bit, but he's still getting a good run here. Let's see who gives here going through three and four. He's not giving an inch. Hayden having to work for it. Well, you can't just pinch me to the apron, buddy. That's not going to work well for very long. Hayden not very happy about how Dalton was racing him there. Dalton well within his rights to drive the way he did. Now they're side by side on corner exit. Finally Hayden not having to get out of the throttle and get back behind him. Dalton drives it in deep into one. Makes it stick. Hayden probably not happy. Dalton probably not wanting to deal with Hayden. Sass gives no craps. <laughs> He's content to hold off Hayden for a little while. Let's see the 7 of Skirmetta, 14 Edwards, 70 of Grindel, the 1 of Montrose, 26 of Evers, and 81 of Steed all backed up in this caught up in waiting for the 67 and 47 to figure out who's going to be ahead of whom. Meanwhile, the gap grows between the 47 and 74, Franklin in sixth. Hayden going to try to get another run here. Don't think he's quite close enough. He's going to send it anyway. Hayes thought about coming down. I think they either nearly made contact or did. Like Giglio and Martin. Martin's going to get the third spot here. And that's how drivers working together get passes done. These two <laughs> definitely not working together. How long can Hayden stay behind this, this 47 and keep his cool? He gets big slide there coming out of turn four. He's going to have to regroup if he doesn't get passed by Skirmetta. Skirmetta to his outside now. I think Hayden will be able to clear him into one. Sorry about that. Contact Hayden. I tried checking out. My bad. Oh, 74. Dalton Hayes. Or 47. Smacks no, fence on his own. He's going to lose Dalton. three spots here now. Dalton. So 
Hayden finally gets by the 47 as he smacks the fence. That paint, that paint team might be making it hard tonight, too. Well, Terry Labonte. Montrose up and into the fence, and then John Deere forward as Mike Edwards on his inside. It's funny, because I'm in a Viagra car. <laughs> now I get it. Hey, Mike was supposed to say that. Yeah, come on, let's pass. Ethan Evers now dealing with the one of Montrose. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, JR, yes. I understand. <laughs> well, Evers getting by Montrose. I didn't think he was alongside just yet, but he was able to get it done. Now Trenton. That's why Montrose is up in the fence and out of shape. Trenton looking to the inside. He's sliding it off too, though. Montrose in the fence. Sliding is faster than fencing as they make door contact. Oh my goodness. Trenton, way down yeah, on the flat. The wall is probably some, um, don't want to be against them. Two playoff drivers going at it there. And here comes another one, Andrew Beach, trying to follow Trenton through there. Here comes Jeff Price. Montrose's car going away quickly as he's in the fence again. John Deere forward having a rough night here at Darlington early on. There goes the 66, Joe Madigan. Mantra is all the way down to 18th now. Up front, business as usual for Lucas Hoisman. He's nearly three seconds up on Wes Parker. Parker has Travis Martin, the two 10 tenths machines there. And Blake Giglio, teammate to race leader Lucas Hoisman. So two teams occupy the top five spots as Mike Christopher also teammates with Hoisma and Giglio. Blake running down these two. like he charges in the corners pretty hard. And Wes and Travis kind of make up their ground on corner exit. Watch Blake gain on him here in corner entry. And it seems like Wes and Travis have a little bit corner exit speed. Blake has to lift get close to the wall. Travis gets right back on the back bumper of the 22. That's fine. We live. We'll say. <laughs> See what happened between the 7 and the 70. They're way down on the flat. Skermetta up by the wall. Gets into the fence. Gets it sideways right in front of Harry. Harry tries to stay off of him. Gets a big slide there. The two Toyotas regroup and keep their positions. That's impressive. Here comes Hayes, though, to take that away. But they save their race cars. That's what's important. Blake Giglio now working Travis Martin. Side by side for the third position. A couple of Mustangs. Giglio gets the clear. I think Travis kind of let him get up so he didn't have to burn his tires up too much. Race the racetrack. Now Blake will go after the 22 of Wes Parker. Lucas Hoistwa just putting it on him so far. Like he tends to do. Lucas, a big fan of this place. Dustin Franklin, Hayden Lowell, that's the battle for sixth. Dustin, another one in a long list of drivers that are not fans of Hayden Lowell. <laughs> These two have gone at it many, many times, especially on the radio. So I'm sure the 74 won't be cutting the 67 any breaks as Mike Chris, uh, fifth place car, hits the fence there. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Franklin to the inside of Mike Chris. I'd probably could give you enough room there if I didn't, my bad. Matt Banky hits pit road. No, you're fine, bro. Dustin Franklin tried to get by Mike Chris. Not quite able to get it done. <laughs> so we keep our eyes on this powder keg. These two do not get along.
Hayden's going to get a pretty good run here. Barry, I know you're fast. Please be patient, patient with me. I think so far. I don't plan to change that now. I think Chris up the hill. This time. Looks like the 74 and 67 are going to get by. He's Ian Montrose, he had fallen way back. 19 seconds behind the leader. He's going to come to pit road. 24 laps on his equipment here is the 67 and 74 get side by side Hayden getting pinched down that <laughs> got scary Hayden about lost it Harry Grindel right behind Hayden heard him ask for patience on the radio Giglio meanwhile has gotten by West Parker Where for and second how I, try to pass you, Dustin? I think his answer would be nowhere <laughs> Video silence says it all. Angel will try to set him up for turn three here. He's got the nose alongside. Franklin going to go ahead and give it to him there. So that calms down for the moment. See if Harry Grindel Thank can you. get by the 74. Blake currently 3.7 behind Hoisman. See if he can start making any inroads. <laughs> Scott in chat saying the answer is figured out. <laughs> Blake almost into the fence there. He's got a little right side damage too, it looks like. I think he's found that wall a time or two. Believe it or not, he is making a little bit of ground up on his teammate. There is the gap. Lucas back to the one of Montrose, who's two laps down, trying to get to one lap down if he can make up that ground. Montrose did take a set of tires there. Giglio and West Parker nose the tail. Not sure if Parker's looking to pass him or if just going to ride behind him. As I said, they are making slight gains on Lucas. Right. Yeah, they're going in the three here. That is the 74 and 70. 70's looking to the outside. <laughs> Whatever, man. Here comes Mike Edwards on Mike Christopher. Drives it in down low. Edwards is a playoff driver, just as Painter forgot to send him the right aisle. So blame is Painter. Right, JR? 100%. Saw the 35 of Benke. There he is down on the flat. Benke getting down out of the way of the leaders. Benke currently four laps down. Been a struggle for the city financial machine. Wancho is trying to run down the leader to get the one back on laps. Right now he's two down. Montrose closing in. Looks like he's going to cut it to the inside. Hoistman not going to put up a fight. Obviously knows those tires are better. Just because. Montrose back to one lap down. All right, brother. Ethan Evers. I just went out for about half a lap. I don't know if I touched anybody, but I'm sorry if I'm ruining my race and you did that. Thank you. This is internet. He can't do anything about that. Ethan Evers on and off hit road. Yeah, if you let him finish his apology, he's linked out. Oh, Scrimmetta and Franklin. Very nearly contact there at 11th. Yeah, he was trying to tell you he was he blinked, so... Franklin's car a little beat up, let's see. And I mean, he was he was literally gone, I didn't see shit. Right there, just driving through him with the net code. Yeah, big time net code there. So that's the reason why Franklin was upset there. Obviously, Grindel's internet blinking out. He has no idea where the 74 is. Edward's a good job to avoid the 74. And that's where all that damage came from, from Franklin. Unfortunate internet situation with the 70 car. Grindel's side of things, he never saw that. 
Edwards now 7th. Mike Chris now 8th. Madigan 9th. Jeff Price 10th as Franklin falling back. Trenton Sneed just smacked the wall on 81. That Chase Elliott scheme into the fence. Most of you know how I feel about that. <laughs> Hoisman's lead now 4 seconds and over Parker as Parker's managed to get back by Giglio. Travis Martin lurking. It sounds like Mike I'm Chris sorry. trying to come to pit road. Travis Scrimetta I was in the seven. Up to let you know that I was going to hit it and someone else mic'd up. I'm sorry, Andrew. Eighty-eight and seven. Coming down pit road. Ethan Thank Evers you. has already been on and off pit road. Ian Montros as well. Ethan Evers lap times 30.5 compared to the leaders 32.1. At least after this time, once I pit, if I get killed again, I can just quit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. I was trying to mic up to let you know that I was going to hit it. Bye there, buddy. Like the 47 and 71, maybe got up into the fence together. Yeah, I'm sure, that's Dustin Franklin pitting out a tenth to come get a fast repair. His car has fallen off since that contact. Here he comes in at lap 40. He hadn't pit the entire race, so this was his first stop. Same cars in the okay. same situation are Lucas Parker, Lucas Hoisman, Wes Parker, Blake Giglio, Travis Martin. It's hot four cars. Looks like Giglio's peeled off. Here comes the 16. Lucas Hoisman already on pit road. Here comes Wes Parker. That's going to be a pit violation. So he went around the cone. Pretty sure 22. Going to get assessed something here. Travis Martin stays out, as does Hayden Lowell in the 67. Those are your top two now. So we watch the 16. I believe that was the Ghost Man. 14 pitting. That is fourth place, Mike Edwards. Sorry, you know, cars was 40 low, but it was just plowing. Martin threw the cone. We'll see how it scores that one. Travis Martin having an issue getting to pit road. Went through the cone, the commitment cone. We know in NASCAR that's a penalty, but iRacing does things a little differently. We'll see how it's called. Sorry, Ethan. I was going to go low, and then it looks like you were. And just sorry about that. 67 pitting in, 67 pitting in. New race leader, Hayden Lowell. Going to bring it at the pit road. In. Ken up to you, West Parker did pick up a penalty there. He did not get the pit road correctly. Went around the commitment cone, so West Parker assessed the penalty. Harry Grindell takes over the race lead as he stays out. And looking at Travis Martin's ticker, it's gone past the 14 seconds, so I believe Travis Martin did pick up a penalty there. Tough break for the Ghost Man. Has one there of the best cars here, as far as speed and as far as the throwback paint. 70, Harry Grindel, coming to the flat, coming to pit road. He'll make it safely. Jeff Price in the background. Looks like he'll make it safely. Trent Sneed brings it in. Now Daddy Dave. He's coming to pit road. That'll cycle things back to his son. Lucas Hoisman was four seconds back, and there he is. He'll move up to the race lead. Lucas, I hate you have to see it like this. <laughs> I know what you're doing. It ain't over yet. Oh no, I promise you, I'm trying. Lucas takes over the race lead. 4.9 now, the gap over his teammate Blake Giglio. Ethan Evers finds himself in third, 13 seconds back. Hayden Lowell. He's got 10 lap fresher tires than Ethan Evers. Should be able to run him down in relatively quick order as he's only a second ahead of him. There is Ethan. 
watch him run down the 26, go on board, down into one, up the hill, and he kind of let off here, get down to the bottom again, then drive it off hard. No pun intended. <laughs> See where he enters three. He goes low. I've seen him all the way on the flat making passes before in this car. This time he stays up on the banking. Runs down that Dale Jr. paint scheme. Ducks to the inside. So you flash down the back stretch. Thank you, Ethan. Ethan is 14.9 seconds behind race leader Lucas Hoisma. So far, we've had the one caution on lap one. Mike Chris rides in fifth. Travis Grimetta has Travis Martin behind him. Oh Not for position, though. Remember, Travis Martin picked up that speeding penalty. Currently 14 cars on the lead lap. Yeah, I was trying not to hit the wall either. You're welcome. So now Skirmetta Dave, has Mike Edwards behind him. That is 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth way. together. Skirmetta, Edwards, Madigan, and Grindel. Thank you very much. All four of them right there together. Three Toyotas and a Mustang. Madigan's going to get a run on Edwards, but Edwards gets a run on Skirmetta. <laughs> so, Edwards down to the flat. Skirmetta stays up by the wall. Let's see if they can come off the corner. They stay side by side. Skirmetta keeps that momentum up. Edwards is going to have to fight a little hard. Skirmetta brushes the fence there on one. Edwards, though, has that low exit on two. It's going to be tough to come off of two down on the bottom. As Skirmetta gets into the fence, then Madigan's going to take him three wide. As Skirmetta gets into the fence some more, Skirmetta going to drop to the back end of that group. Looks like Madigan maybe checked up a little bit. Harry Grindel got to his outside. Now they're side by side. Grindel trying to make the move on the outside line. That Renault scheme on that Toyota. Sorry, Edwards, I kept it in the wall. We could not come up and hit you. Oh, Madigan and the 70 of Grindel make contact there. Grindel's got the better of it momentum wise, but he's got damage down the left and right sides of that 70. Madigan bouncing off of him there in the Ford Mustang. Um. <laughs> and, um, and um is what we get out of that. So Wes Parker and Travis Martin, two of the fastest cars in that first run, find themselves 17th and 19th after pit violations for both those cars. Thank you. Executing mistake-free, yeah. obviously very important. Here you can go around Mike Chris. Mike Chris, a little bit Thank older you, tire. One of the first ones to pit. Other than Ian Monchos, who was by 10 laps the first one to pit. He had all those issues bouncing off the fence a few times. Lucas's lead 4.3 over Blake Giglio. Like chopped into it a little bit. They pit on the same lap. Should see Edwards and Grindel catching up to Ethan Evers. About nine lap difference in their pit stops. Edwards catching Benke there. The gap from Edwards to Evers is 2.9. There is Evers in fourth. Here comes Travis Martin. Fresher tires. I'm sure Ethan won't put up a fight. Travis got such a good run there. He actually had to lift. Or he would have run into the back of Ethan. 
Ethan going to give him the top and have the position to him. That's Matt Benke. As Harry Grindel gets by Edwards. Let's see if Edwards let him by. I think he may have. Grindel gets to his outside and he just has no choice because Benke's straight ahead. <laughs> nice move by Grindel there. Edwards doesn't put up too much of a fight. Cliff Mullins getting some TV time. Cliff is currently 11th place. Yeah, I didn't do like in a dirt raid. <laughs> He's happy he didn't hit Lucas like he did in the dirt race. Uh, if you going. missed it, if you missed it, the Cave RP Sprint Car Series happening at seven. Sorry, boy, my tire is a crap. Cliff Mullins was ahead of Lucas and said, "Lucas, just to warn you, I'm ahead of you." And about a lap later, Cliff Mullins <laughs> goes up high, and Lucas Hoisman was there, puts Lucas up into the fence. Definitely not on purpose, but he did warn him. It's entertaining. Reload our timing screen here. Well, we got a moment. Timing screen wasn't showing any updates on incident reports. Now we got it. Let's check in on Blake Giglio in second. He is 4.8 now behind Lucas Hoisma. That gap had shrunk because Lucas was going through this lap traffic. Now Blake Giglio has that same traffic to deal with. Hayden Lowell's made his way to third. Harry Grindel fourth. Madigan in fifth. Mike Edwards now sixth. Ticker is showing there's contact between the 70 and the 66, but I think that was the one we saw where they both bounced into the fence. There's Ethan Evers in seventh. Mike Chris not too far behind, that white, pink, and blue Mustang. Travis Skirmetta. One of the three Mark Martin throwbacks, currently in ninth. Jeff Price running out the top ten and the lead lap machines. Looking out the back of Jeff Price's machine, you can see race leader Lucas Hoitzma. Orange, yellow, and white tied machine coming into view. Hear that throttle control when you get up by the wall at Darlington. It's right on board with race leader Lucas Hoisman. Hear the difference. Out of the throttle to come back down to the bottom. So smooth. Siri enters three. And not quite at the bottom. Staying pretty good distance away from the wall. He's nice, comfortably in the lead. Doesn't have to push too much. He's 4.6 right now over Blake. Up ahead, he sees 10th, 9th, 8th, and 7th. Closing in on the last four cars in the top ten. It's just so fun to listen to Lucas's throttle control. It's just so smooth. To so watch Skirmetta battle Ethan Evers for that ninth position. Evers, one of the earliest cars to pit, drifting back on those a little bit older tires. It's got five lap older tires than Skirmetta there. They battle for ninth, right in front of race leader Lucas Hoisman. Trying to stay on a lead lap. They'll go side by side. And Evers into the fence. Comes down into Lucas Hoisman. Hoitzma's going to slide on the apron. Hoitzma saves the race car. Gave him a scare, I am I sure. Maintains Dad, his lead. Why are you back here? Only by... 
a second and a half now over Blake Giglio. I'm sure Hoisma pretty nervous right there. Did a great job saving his race car and holding on to the lead. Blake Giglio got 1.2 back. So he's going to sort out his car after heating up the tires there on that slide. I'm sure he'll take a lap or two to get back to full speed. Lost about three seconds there off of his lead. Putting this one pitting this time. There is the first car last pit cycle. Ian Montrose. So we get cycle number two underway as he slides that Mustang all the way around three and four. Decent drift. Could have got that back in yelled out a little more. Out of the race, Jeremy Scherer and Dave Hoitzma. 15 and 79 have called it quits. They will finish 20th and 21st. Ian Montrose drops to the end almost. Matt Menke, four laps down, will probably stay there in 19th. Montrose hits his box. Looks like Ethan Evers down pit road as well. Maybe a little early for that 26. Could be trying to pull a strategy move there. Evers was one of the earliest cars to pit on that last cycle. He is in and out. He'd gone a lap down. Now he'll be two laps down, hoping the yellow doesn't fly. Andrew Beach, right there behind Lucas. See how Lucas lets out of the throttle there. About midway through one and two, you saw Beach start to catch him. Lucas does that to get his corner exit and get the exit speed. So you saw Beach losing on corner exit. So Hoisman was able to pull away. So good at getting the throttle down on exit. Giglio within a second for the first time in a long while. So Hoisman's car obviously a little a little hurt after that. Hoisman will try to get his fuel run in, come down, take that repair, I am sure. Here he comes. He saw his lead shrinking enough. Blake Giglio is going to try and make it. There is no way Blake Giglio is going to make this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blake Giglio. Like, how the hell did you make that? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I don't know. He came in there hot as hell and made it. Hayden Lowell will take over the race lead. It's the leader's pit on lap 69. I'm sure Lucas will take that fascia pair as he's struggling a bit there. If we watch this car magically fix itself. There you go. Fast repair taken for the 97. Hands the lead to the Viagra car. Racing hard up front. Whoa. <laughs> Joe Madigan is in second. 11 seconds back. Goodness gracious, this field spread out with this long green flag run. Harry Grindell in third. 2.7 back with Madigan, then Mike Edwards fourth. Jeff Price fifth. Mike Chris finds himself in sixth. Travis Scrimetta seventh. Andrew Beach eighth. Trenton Sneed currently ninth. Cliff Mullins in tenth. One lap down, Lucas Hoisman in eleventh. He is catching the race leader in a hurry would be the free pass car if the yellow comes out. Dustin Franklin on pit road, 74. I'm not going to fight you, Andrew, if you get to me. Hoist up behind Ethan Evers. Evers two laps down. They're both trying to run down the race leader. Get a lap back. Blake Giglio, 12th. Wes Parker, after his pit penalty, is 13th and hasn't been to pit road yet. Travis Martin, similar story, 14th. Thank you. I'm putting this flop, Andy. 
I believe that was Mike Chris, the 88, saying he's coming to pit road. Looks like the 81, Trent and Sneed on pit road. Here comes the Chase Elliott throwback. Watch Mike Chris get his car to pit road. Big slide out of the 88. Manages not to hit the wall, though. Made it a spicy pit road entry. Gets the pit road in the 88. Lucas Hoisma gets around Hayden Law, so Hoisma back on the lead lap. See Ethan not quite there yet. Higher strategies are all over the place right now. About 50 laps away from the finish once we get to the line. There goes Blake Giglio around the outside of Hayden. And Blake gets himself back on the lead lap. How about that? Travis Martin trying to go low for Dalton Hayes. As Dalton smacks the fence. Dalton two laps down on fresher tires. Mike Chris has gone two laps down with the pit stop. This field is so spread out right now. We're on pitting next time. Here comes Ethan Evers trying to get by. Ethan has a faster car through the corner, but couldn't get the power down. Don't worry about me behind you. Just keep going, Michael. It's the one of Montrose. Mike Edwards, Jeff Price. Price saying he's not going to try to pass him just yet. If you catch me and you'll be patient in one and two, I will pull out of your way on the back. A lot of give and take right Thank now. You. Looks like Ethan's finally gotten back to one lap down. It's yeah, Hayden a big slide out of turn two there. It's been 35 laps since he's been to pit road. We've seen 41 be the farthest so far. Same for you, Blake. Have to imagine Mike Edwards, Jeff Price getting close to that. 36 laps since Edwards has been to pit road. Same for Wes Parker and Andrew Beach. Lucas Hoist was starting to make his way back up through the field, currently in sixth. The leading car that has been to pit road has a little close. Sorry, I was trying to get it down. Has 1.8 seconds over Blake Giglio there. Cliff Mullins on pit road. Is that Jeff Price having a slide? He tried to pit, went across the cone, and I guess he bailed on that idea. He'll go back around, try hold again. There, right, hold there. there goes Giglio by. Jeff Price missing pit road. Mentioned this is one of the hardest pit roads to get onto. Here comes Wes Parker, Travis Martin. It's Lucas 67 Hoisman. Pitting, 67 pitting. Gets by Mike Edwards. Edwards coming to pit road. No problem, Trent. That was Hayden Lowell. Having a hard time getting on pit road. Saw him lock up the brakes right there at pit entry. Pit road. Busy place this lap, but Ethan Evers out on track. Andrew Beach in the pits. Jeff Price, Mike Edwards, and you have Wes Parker, Travis Martin, now Hayden Lowell and Joe Madigan, top two cars. Pit Road, a very busy place all of a sudden. Lucas Hoisman will flash by, retake the race lead in the 97 Tide ride. He should have coordinated with somebody to have a Sharpie car so we could recreate that race. <laughs> that would have been fun. But Hoisman and Giglio go 1-2. So Wes Parker goes back to two laps down. There is Blake. Hayden still showing him third. As he rolls off pit road. Look at that gap <laughs> the top two have. Holy smokes. Be 22 seconds. Almost 23 by the time he gets up to speed. There it is, 23 seconds. Fourth place is a lap down. <laughs> That's insane. But now these cars will be the fastest cars on track because they come off pit road.
Lucas leads by 2.3 over Blake Giglio. Lucas happy to have that fast repair. Starting to grow that lead a little bit over his teammate. Hayden and his teammate third and fourth. Hayden and Joe Madigan. Fresh off pit road. We'll see what time the lap times they're putting down. Hey, Travis, I'll give it to you on the bottom, or, uh, on the bottom side coming out too. Hayden not quite going to have a great lap as he caught the one car there. Still a 30.4, which is quicker than the Thank leaders. You. Is Madigan on track? There he is. It is hard to believe third place or fourth place is a lap down. Fifth place now, Ethan Evers. Gracias. He's got Mike, Chris, and Harry Grindel side by side behind him. As Harry gets by Mike, Chris there. Harry up to sixth. Mike, Chris drops to seventh. Harry, only two laps on his tires, so he is trying to move back forward. Get some good points for the playoffs here tonight. Screw Meta eighth right now. Trenton Sneed ninth. And Mike Edwards in the Shrek machine is tenth. I'll give it to you on the back. Dalton Hayes saying he'll give the position to Price on the back stretch. Hayes, 11 lap older tires than Price. Little what they call coopetition. Competition being cooperative with one another because it helps you both if you can go through the corners not side by side. Yeah, it's getting very spread out, isn't it, William? Remember the truck race at uh, Homestead when Bill pretty much lapped the field? <laughs> He's up into the fence there. Franklin right in 14th. And you have Ian Montrose, 15th, one lap down. Wes Parker trying to run him down. He's 16th, one lap down after that pit penalty. No yellow flags to be able to make up that kind of a mistake. Montrose into the fence. That'll give Parker the position easily. Parker up to 15th. Montrose drops to 16th. Behind them, you saw the 37, Cliff Mullins. That'd be for position. He's 17th. And then here comes Travis Martin. Martin's had a race to forget after that pit penalty. I think that Hot Wheels scheme is just unlucky. <laughs> He's catching Lucas Hoisman to try to go to one lap down, currently two. Has 11 lap fresher tires than race leader. So look to the inside. Go high, on straight. And through goes Second. Travis Martin. Martin now one lap down in the 18th position. Matt Banky still out there soldiering on in that City Financial Stephen Like throwback. Currently in 19th. Five laps back of the race leader. Three laps back of the next closest car. Still soldiering on, getting some experience. That brings us back to Lucas. While we were talking about all that, Andrew Beach gets around Jeff Price. Two point seven the gap to Blake Giglio in second. Hayden slowly making inroads, but such a big gap. He's fifteen seconds behind Blake. Twelve lap fresher tires. Some of these drivers it's gonna be very close to whether they can make it or not, and Jeff Price has decided to come back down pit road. Jeff Price can probably make it from here. So the 19, first one pitting inside the window for sure. 35 laps is definitely doable. Jeff Price bolts on his last set. If we stay green, he should be all done with pitting. He is now going to hold his breath and hope for no cautions. Let's see how his strategy plays out. Joseph Madigan was one of the last ones to pit. He would have to go... Well, a very long way. 
is that 44 laps? If he can save some, it's possible. Have to save about three laps of fuel. Never know. Him and Hayden could be on that strategy. But Hayden's still pushing, trying to pass everyone he can to move forward. Once that gap is shrinking to Blake Giglio's. Blake Giglio's hit pit road. He's within that window. He's decided it's time. We stay green. You can make it to the end. Giglio said that is good enough for him. Here he is on pit road. Practice. expect Ethan Evers will be in in not too distant future. Let's see what Lucas Hoisma decides to do, knowing that Blake Giglio has hit pit road. 24 laps since we've seen the 97 down. Here comes the 26, Ethan Evers, as we thought may happen. He had been 26, 27 laps? 27, since he had been on pit road. Some of the oldest tires, so he's shown up. Hoisma stays out another lap. Blake Giglio, after his pit stop, only falls to eighth. That's how spread out this field is. <laughs> That's wild. Giglio catching Mike Edwards. In that four position, along with Mike Chris ahead of him. Should be no contest with those fresh tires. Blake gets through. Now he's trying to set up Mike Chris on corner exit. Nicely done there, Blake. Picks up two down in three and four. Now in sixth. He has one second to catch Travis Scrimetta. There is Scrimetta. Thirty laps to go from Darlington, South Carolina. Scrimetta gets the fence. Scrimetta down to the inside. Let his teammate Giglio through. Blake up to fifth. So Hoitzman is still out on track in the 97 and showing no signs of pitting. If he cuts it in half, I think that would be next lap. If he cuts his last stint in perfect halves. So he'll go to 28 on his tires, and it'll be 28 to go. Well, here we are. Let's we'll see if that's his strategy, or if he tries to go the long game. Setting, 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 setting. I believe that's our answer. Wait, so drops it down to the apron. Here comes a race leader. In the tide ride. Wait, so on pit road safely. Should hand the lead for a while to Hayden Lull. Lucas, nice and safe on the pit road, no That's issues. Right. Update on the 26, Ethan Evers playoff driver. He had a pit road penalty. Had to sit on pit road for 54 seconds for fans of the 2016. He is down in 18th now, three laps down after that penalty. Tough break for the 26 crew. Here's Lucas in his box getting tires. Hayden takes over the race lead. Here comes the seven of Skirmetta to pit road. Nice and easy, no issues. 88. That is Mike Chris hitting the box. Hayden on point in the 67 car. So Lucas Hoisman gets out right in front of him. Luke is just now going a lap down. Hitting the thumb, hitting the that is crazy. And then he'll be right back around Hayden. Pretty short order. Oh, Lucas, a big slide. He holds the brake to stay out of the wall. That was brilliant. One hell of a save as far as not hitting that car into either a car or the wall. I'm sorry to scare Hayden, but I put my own pants so. up. <laughs> I thought I touched it. I, if if I did or it was net code, I'm sorry. Code in out. 
That was insane. Nope, I'm just guarded. I can't believe he didn't hit the wall or I another car. Second lead over me, just garbage. <laughs> Blake Giglio. Okay, same rules as last time. Blake has what, 12 seconds, server Lucas? Lucas catching Andrew here. Heard him say same rules as last time. Andrew puts it in the fence off too, but Lucas makes it back up to fifth. Now he's going to try and run down Blake Giglio. Now that he's right behind him, you can tell you that gap is 8.7 between Blake and Lucas. That should be first and second once the pit stops are done. So Lucas might have to make up some ground on his teammate in the last 23 laps. Six lap fresher tires, see if it's enough. 71 pitting this time. Ian Montrose going back down the lap. Actually, I'll put Montrose two laps down. Looks like Montrose is headed to the pits in the one. Ninth place, two laps That's down. Like the way this green flag run is gone. There we go. Hayden, <laughs> this time letting Thank Lucas you. safely pass. <laughs> Hence the sarcastic, there we go. Much better that time. Thanks. Beach hits pit road in the 71. Thank you. Easy there, Club. Martin and Parker once again running long, hoping for the yellow. I think we need to rewatch this then. 70 to pit road. He's out of shape, sliding it in there. <laughs> Fortunate not to clip the cone. Gets it down to pit road speed. That's all that matters. Thanks. Thanks for not putting me in the wall like you did, Andrew. He pit. <laughs> 67 pitting. 67 pitting. Race leader coming down this time. He didn't get all he can there. Locks up the rear brakes coming in. He has 16 seconds over Joe Madigan. Madigan's been pitting on the we'll same lap. Out on that here. This time not doing it, so Madigan. Want to stay out on track. Not quite able to lead a lap. But if he makes it around this time, is still the leader, then he would. Blake Giglio. He's almost caught Madigan, and Madigan still has to pit again. <laughs> 16 and 97 have been the class of the field. Hoitzung, with that slamming on brake situation, he's 6.5 seconds now to make up. In 20 laps. May have waited too long to pit, but we will see if he can run down Blake Giglio. Joe Madigan, he's not here for points, so he's probably going to try to run this thing dry and see if he can catch a caution. That would be my strategy if I was in his race car. He's got 14 more laps he can run. So, got a while before he would have to come down. Two cars left to pit. Joe Madigan and Wes Parker. Parker, currently fourth, has been a lap down ever since his penalty on pit road. We know the 22 is fast. Looks like Cliff Mullins may have picked up a penalty as well. He's up into the 40s on his stop right now. Here goes Giglio going for the race lead. Oh, contact, but they keep it out of the wall. <laughs> Giglio just getting the nose of his Ford corporate teammate there. Joe Madigan now falls to second. Here's Lucas Hoisman with the gap. 5.2. 17 to go. Needs to make up about three tenths a lap, a little, a little more than three tenths a lap. He gets to the inside of Ethan Evers. Gets around the 26, one less car in the way for him. Cliff Mullins, I think, is actually a damage issue because he is now at 1.2. As, as, to as in a minute, did. minute and a half for Cliff Mullins and Pit Rose, so I think he's taking damage repair really in that 37. 16 okay. to go for the 16 car. So he works his way oh, down the back stretch. The 
Lucas still has to pass Madigan. Sounds like Jeff Price two tires is a no -go boy. took two tires and it didn't agree with the 19. He's going to park it. I'll turn around and say go low, Travis. Oh, you're good, you think? Dalton Hayes up ahead of Lucas Weitzman. Harry, go up. I believe ahead of him is Madigan. And the black car ahead of I'm that sure. looks I'm like that would be Blake Giglio. So he can see all two cars ahead of him plus a lap machine of Hayes. There's now 14 laps to go. And Lucas on the best tires run down with both cars ahead of him. He'll get Madigan easily on the speed differential alone. He needs to make short work of him, though, if he has any opportunity to catch Giglio way out front. 4.4 the gap to Giglio now. It's 47, hits the fence. Gonna hydrate in here. Appreciate you, Nick. Should be going for a second midway through or on corner exit here. See, it's right up behind Madigan. It's going to try to drive under him off the corner. Lucas will take over second as they head into three and four. Now the gap. The watch is on. 4.1. Going to three. Going to three. If Blake can see him back there you, in the mirrors. Oh, yep, no problem. Not through the corner. There he is. Lucas still has the 47 of Dalton Hayes to get by. Hopefully Hayes will do the gentleman thing and get on out of the way. I like it that way. Hey, yo. Hoist was setting him up for a pass here on corner exit. He'll get to the inside of Hayes. 3.5 the gap. 11 to go. The way this is setting up, this could be almost exactly like the finish that this car is famous for. Oh, I don't know if I touched it there, but I didn't, I didn't mean to if I did. You're good. Take it in the... Thank you. 2.8. No problem. Nine laps to go. I didn't get a contact, but you wiggled there, so yeah, my bad. No worries. Michael, I followed you right into that. Just a little top. <laughs> The last thing that Lucas Hoisman wants for right now is Travis Martin to get in to his rhythm and mess up his chase for Blake Giglio. Eight to go. He needs to make up more than a quarter second a lap. And Martin I'm gonna go high right is right there. Hoisman lets the 63 through. He'll hope that... Martin goes up there and catches Luke, catches Blake, and Thank Blake you. has to deal with him as well. Madigan finally does pit in the 66. Wes Parker on pit road as well. Blake Giglio's lead 2.1. One. Again, Hoytsman with six lap fresher tires. Travis Martin, 12 laps on his, so he is much fresher tires than Giglio. He'll probably catch him. And then the leader will have to deal with him passing him. Right, 
There's the gap. Giglio to Martin. Wastement may have burned up his stuff a little bit. He's not catching him quite as fast as he was. Mike, you see that? Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> All right, five laps to go Matt, from Darlington. Giglio now has Travis Martin right on his I back bumper. Yeah, I'm just on a dream. He's like, like Travis gets to his inside. Okay. Not quite. Travis stays tucked in behind Blake Giglio. Harry, no! What is that? Martin now gets to the inside of Giglio as they head to turn one. We'll see if Giglio gives him the spot or if he challenges on the outside. He's staying up there. Martin, a big bobble there. Joseph, did you not take tires? Now that gap is down to five tenths. Oh, sure Martin hits the fence there. I'm a proponent of four. Travis Martin trying to go from two laps down to one lap down. Definitely has faster tires, but Giglio trying to not lose any margin over Lucas Hoitzma. Probably should have let Travis go, but didn't do I it. Now he has to have Travis go by him again, and really now Hoitzma is right there in the 97. Sorry, Blake. I'm trying to hold you up there. Just trying to catch the guys in front. Now the battle is on for the race lead as Lucas Hoitzma has a hell of a run. He's going to take it to the bottom going into turn three. Giglio going to pinch him down, keep him from coming up the track too much. Two teammates going for the race lead. They come off turn four nearly side by side across the stripe. Giglio touches the fence. Now they are side by side heading into turn one. Hoitzma way down on the flat. All the way up to the wall. He's going to set him up for corner exit here. As he's been doing to quite a few people. He's going to try to turn it left as Giglio tries to block him but gets sideways. Hoitzma trying to get that Toyota inside of that Mustang. They get side by side for turn three. Now Hoitzma has the bottom, slides it up the track barely staying off of them this is very good stuff they're going to come off the corner see the white flag in the air giglio in the lead hoitz was second west parker not in the factory in the 22 but he is there watching this battle with a close view here goes hoitz trying to set up this corner exit but giglio is backing off to hold the bottom here it goes the last ditch effort for lucas hoitz to the inside going into turn number three Will he slide up the hill a little bit? Oh, it's so close. They're side by side through turns three and four. Hoistwa gets ahead. They touch a little bit. Lucas Hoistwa going to get the win in the last down, lap. Lucas Hoistwa picks up the win in the 97. Outstanding effort getting by his teammate on the last lap in the last two corners. Good battle, Mike. Blake Giglio immediately Good. jumps out. That was fantastic. Lucas Hoisman with the win over Giglio. Hayden Lowell brings it home in third. Oh, you're, you're good. That wasn't the only scare this race. Despite having three cars on the lead lap, <laughs> that was an outstanding race. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Here comes the 67 of Hayden. Give him a little congratulations. Giving him a soft, tender rub on the right side. Lucas always by getting the winner's burnout here. See if we can get the top three to the waiting room. We got Blake. Looking for Hayden and Lucas. Oh my gosh, Beach just pounded the 97. Hope you got your pictures before then. <laughs> just destroyed the race car. Car won't pass tech now. Love you, boo-boo. Congratulations. Drag Lucas up here. Lucas likes to go Thank first you. when he wins. Lucas, DG, you got hey, a copy? I, I, I got you. Well, sir, that was one hell of a finish. Your heart rate still bumping after that one? Oh, man. When I got to him there with three to go, I was like, oh, I can't screw this up. This is going to be so cool. And Oh, yeah, my heart is still pounding. I, that was such an amazing race. I mean, just green flag racing all the way through, and to have a, a last lap pass at the end, that was 
so cool to be a part of it. To come out of it with the win, it's just it's so awesome. Here in the playoffs, Darlington, my favorite track, it all came together. The Tide Ride, it's yeah. I think those those cars are good luck here, Darlington man. I was gonna say you did that paint scheme proud. It's ex- almost exactly how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made contact coming out of four and everything. <laughs> it's a little weird with it being the 97 though. <laughs> That's okay. No one really liked the 32 anyway. <laughs> you know, people think tied. They think 17, 10, and 5. They don't really think 32. Yeah, yeah. Ricky was just washed up. <laughs> Rudd or Craven? <laughs> uh, both. Wow. <laughs> Good thing they're not watching this. <laughs> All right, bud. Congrats on that very awesome hard earned victory tonight. You got those friends, family, and sponsor shout outs for us tonight. Yes, yeah, sir. Just uh, first of all, shout out to everybody in this race. An almost entirely green flag race at Darlington is unheard of. Everybody did an amazing job. Uh, shout out to Low Drag Esports, Labor 12, CTC Racing, uh, you for doing the broadcasting. I know that was fun to watch. Heck yeah. Uh, the admins of this series. <laughs> and uh, Blake for giving me a clean race there at the end. Me and him had a hell of a battle. Sam Ford, congrats on the victory. I pulled you first because I know you like to go first. We appreciate you being part of our community. An awesome job. Yes, sir. Thank you. See ya. Luke is getting the win tonight. Now we'll bring in the 16 of Blake Giglio. Blake, DG, you got the copy? What's going on? Well, sir, you needed maybe one less lap in that race. <laughs> what was going through yeah. your mind when your teammate was catching you there, and what would you try to do to hold him off? Yeah, I, I think we would have had him. Um, but we did have him. I, when Travis Travis had to get back in there, he was trying to get it back in the lead lap. Um, just got kind of tangled up with him a little bit for like a lap or so which i think let him close in and i think i could have defended like i did defend two attempts that he had at it so i think you know if i could have just maybe made that transition a little bit smoother on my part i think we could have got him but i don't know he had a lot left a lot more tires so it is what it is, i guess yeah that's actually what i mentioned on the broadcast i think uh maybe if you had let him go easier uh for the Travis Martin pass that uh, probably would have done better because that's what Lucas did when when Travis passed him just let him go very quickly well I tried giving him the top there in three and four and I just don't think he realized what I was trying to do and then when I when he didn't get by me then he was underneath me going into one I was just gonna let him have it on the top but I think he hit the apron and it just it was just a shitty deal um but it's part of it I guess and move on next week Yes, sir. Well, you put up a hell of a fight, put on a good show, and uh, unfortunately just came out on the wrong end of it there. You got those friends, family, and sponsor shout-outs for us tonight. Yeah, shout-out to you, Broadcast, and shout-out to Lucas for me clean. Um, that can end it a lot differently, I think, if there's anybody else. So, appreciate it. Lucas not destroying me there. Good win to him. Um, Ghostman from the league on. He does a great job with that. See straight single drag eSports, m Performance, Jake Swanson, and Shock Technology, Apex Auto Glass. Everyone that's on there, and uh, everyone that uh, gets it done every week. I like how you went so old school. This thing has the security pro logos on it. <laughs> yeah, they're old, man. Mike Mike made this paint a long time ago for me. so That's funny. Good job. I appreciate you, Ben, and uh, congrats on that P2. Yeah, thank you. Blake Giglio getting second tonight. Now we go bring in Hayden. Hayden, DG, you got a copy? I got you, Swiss. Well, a lot of hard racing out there tonight. How do we feel about our run here at Darlington? Yeah, it was definitely a hard race for me. It was... Uh, did some stupid stuff lap one. I saw Wes get loose and uh, tried to take advantage of it and saw he was about to be on the apron and saw how low he was for that point in the corner and uh, kind of spooked me a little bit and I just got loose and could never catch it. I apologize to everyone involved in that wreck, but um, yeah, otherwise it was a, a a good day for this number 67 Viagra Ford Mustang Mark Martin throwback and bringing it home P3 is really good, all things considering and well, uh, hopefully, hopefully next race isn't quite as hard. Yeah, and it looked like you had a really easy time getting that thing in the box here tonight. Uh, looked, it looked exciting on pit road, and your teammate out there, nice to have him back on track, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to have Joseph Madigan back on track with Madigan Motorsports. You know, it's he's he's had problems. It was always one thing and then another and could never put the full package together. And uh, <laughs> finally, finally was able to get back out on track with us tonight. So uh, he texted me about 10 minutes before the race. What track are you all at tonight? It's, Told him we were at Darlington, and he he's like, all right, I'll, I'll throw my hat in the ring. And, you know, good to see him bringing home uh, a top five in his in his first night back. Heck yeah, double top fives for Madigan Motorsports tonight. Always a good time. You got your friends, family, and sponsor shout-outs for us tonight. And don't leave out the girlfriend. I cannot forget McKenna. Her grandfather, unfortunately, passed away Friday night. So lots of thoughts and prayers going out to my girlfriend and her family and 
we're gonna miss Newt. But uh, yeah, it was a got to thank uh, Madigan Motorsports, Napa Auto Parts, Arc Music, and Ford as always with the Viagra on the car this week. It was it was not a hard throwback to put together, but it was a hard track to drive. So, uh, but yeah, we got the full package put together and uh, had pretty good performance, all things considering. And I yeah, think, other, uh, other than you hitting the wall hard early on lap one and and taking out yeah. the Dale Junior car. <laughs> yeah, Ethan dis- expressed his displeasure with me throughout the race. He was I was racing with him, and I'm like, what are you doing this stuff for? And then I processed it. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's why. That's why. I'm less mad at Ethan now. But um, yeah, thank you, Swiss, for broadcasting. Thank you, Travis, for putting this on. And thank you to all the SRL admins for making Sidewinder work. And once again, thank you to Spit and Venom Podcast for sponsoring the Arca League. And We'll see if uh, good points tonight for us, so I think we should be in a good spot in Phoenix. But we'll go out and try to get another win there. Got to win six. Got to win and Venom and not Fort Worth screen printing. Well, I mean, you, you've got a point. I'm staring right at the Fort Worth screen printing logo on my race car right now. So, <laughs> big shout out to Fort Worth screen printing and John Garrett for sponsoring uh, two leagues of ours. We got the Xfinity on Tuesday nights and Cup on Wednesday nights. So, uh, really cool of him to sponsor both of those and. I appreciate all he does. Tan Ford, congrats on that P3 run tonight, and we'll let you get on out of here and enjoy it, and uh, we'll catch you in the next race. Thank you very much, Swiss. Hayden Lowell finishing in P2 tonight, and won't let me drag him to the waiting room. <laughs> you have to stay here, Hayden. I'm just going to go to a different channel. <laughs> there. Oh, my gosh. That was pain. And we're going to jump down here and pick up Travis Martin. Hey, hello. Not going to pick up Travis Martin. Discord is being surprisingly a pain. Travis, DG, got a copy? Hello. There you are. Man, Discord is being very slow all of a sudden. I don't know if you're having that issue too. Uh, the Hot Wheels car looked beautiful out there tonight. Nice throwback there from the uh, 1023 graphics crew. We got that uh, Hot Wheels car, unfortunately, had that issue on pit road and no cautions to ever recover from it and still bring it home top 10. That's actually rather impressive. Good job there on the rebound. Thanks, dude. Yeah, what a what an awesome race by everybody. Everybody was super respectful. Uh, you know, everybody on old tires, letting everybody buy new tires being super cool. So that was that was just a all around great race. Uh, I hate that I, I had that terrible pit entry, but uh, that's what happens when you... Uh, kind of push it a little too hard so you know that, that that happens i'm still happy to bounce back to a top 10 so salvage what we could and move on to next week if it makes you feel any better the car was beautiful man it's i whoa oh <laughs> man we're gonna have to go spend some alone time here after this <laughs> man you mean you haven't hit things hard enough yet yeah <laughs> <laughs> man i was hitting that wall i tell you what have to watch out tanner will come have to defend his girlfriend I know, man. I'm st- I'm Mr. Steel Your Wall. Mm, damn. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just wanted to say thanks for all your hard work for the uh, the series and uh, how much we appreciate you. Thanks for all the the hard work you put into it, and uh, we we love having you be part of our community. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I really want to say. I wanted to bring you up and give a little love fest to your face. How about that? Oh well, thanks, dude. I mean, you know, this this all started with you and uh, a few others, but uh, you know, you've been kind of the main driving force behind this and. I appreciate you, you know, taking a step back from the wheel to do the broadcasting, man. It's like I always say, it's it's so awesome to be able to go back and watch these races and as a spectator and say, oh, man, it's me. So, <laughs> um, it, it, I really do appreciate it, man. I, I know how much you like racing, but uh, you're really good at the broadcast stuff. So thank you very much. And uh, thanks for this awesome community. Yes, sir. We appreciate you. Have a good night and we'll see you back here next week. And uh, hopefully we can do a little better than 10th place next week so I can get you an interview legitly. Yeah, love your face, dude. Thank you. All right, broski. Have a good night. night. Travis Martin bringing it home in the 10th spot, but we just wanted to show a little love to our league admin for Tuesday nights. He does a great job putting this on for us, and we appreciate him. Let's look at our final results here real quick as we have that awesome throwback in the background. It's a great backdrop for the Darlington throwback race tonight. Lucas Hoist for getting the victory. Blake Giglio, Hayden Lowell picking up podiums. Harry Grindel and Madigan in your top five. Mike Edwards, Travis Scrimetta, Andrew Beach, Mike Chris, and Travis Martin picking up the top tens. Wes Parker, Dalton Hayes, Trenton Snead, Dustin Franklin, Ian Machos, Ethan Evers, Matt Benke, Jeff Price, Cliff Mullins, and Dave Hoitzma, your top 20. 
And our final finisher, Jeremy Scherer, falling out of the race about, I don't know, 100, no, not 145 laps into the event. There we go. I can count. <laughs> he finishes 21st tonight. Appreciate everyone coming out, watching this awesome broadcast of this throwback Darlington race. Hope you enjoyed it. Opening round of the playoffs. Points will be up relatively short order once we get done with the broadcast. Hope you have a great, wonderful rest of your Tuesday night. Don't forget, if you're still up and excited for more, the modified race will be the uh, broadcast by the CTC Race Network over on YouTube. So go check that one out, the end of our triple header. Appreciate you, as always. If you're watching over on the YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. It helps us out tremendously in the algorithms, which helps us get more eyeballs on the screens, which helps us get more sponsors which helps us make more series and more awesome events for you. So that's how it works. It's a symbiotic relationship. Get in there and do your part. We appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday night and bye-bye.